I want to focus in on this pistol round here because there's a bit of utility being purchased in from Astralis. It's going to be a smoke and a molly for Zipex. Smoke and two flashes for Glaive and straight towards the B bomb site. They're going to trundle. Very noisy Magus. Jamie's going to think better at peeking out high ramp. Those Glock bullets just uh, enough to scare him away. Kick it up close and personal in Pop Dog and Jame. He is under pressure. Yeah, I think that might be enough for him for now. Does silently descend. Doesn't have a rotator. Of course, it's enough. That's plenty. Okay, kick it. Pop for response does have the flashbang drawn, so they will be looking to descend this ramp. James, the only one there to respond, so this is a good call. Playing retake. Hoping to catch any of their late upper arrivals, but Zipex is not peppered. A close connected with the clocks, this is ideal. They are through. Half the hard work is done now, and the bomb will be planted, so this retake, Buster's the one delivering the kit and the smoke. Gonna need to start seeing some bloodshed now. Every second that ticks favors Astralis. Kick it, an armoured CZ for this hall's clear. And we do see the first exchanges going back and forth. Magisk advancing, that's the kit in the smoke. Knock Buster down, you've got a good, oh, solid conversion from Astralis. Good shooting from Buster, but he's lost all of his compatriots. Just a matter of time. 3-4 Dupree, we do see Astralis 1-0. Yeah, I can see the world that we're painting right there. They get close to the bomb train. Buster has the smoke, he drops it, they defuse. You get Kicker coming late through the box holes. Yeah, but it's not to be. Now, with you mentioning uh, Astralis picking this one, out of the last seven, uh, this would be the eighth, we'll talk about this one in a second, but the last seven, Astralis have only picked this map twice, and the two times they picked it, they lost it both times. One was to Spirit, and one was back when they had Esser Tag on the roster. That was versus Heroic. I think that was like DreamHack Open Fall last year. So we don't normally see Astralis pick this map, and when they do, they've been losing it in recent history. Interesting to see that they're continuing forward with this one. As the force buy for VP comes on out, different to overpass. On overpass, they took the full eco. This time, they're straight in with the scout and deagles. It's certainly a map that can favor a bit more funky CT maneuvers. T's have got a lot of due diligence to do to stop any CT pushes for info. Ivy being one very good example of that. So they do pull the smoke out, Magisk forcing all of that util and attention. Working with a couple more smokes here. Three in total. Looks like harassment down towards Pop Dog and Sanji. He's on his lonesome here. So he's going to get mollied and naded. Yeah, they're going to lock him in. Glass gets broken. Molly comes through. And Sanji, you're in trouble. Locked in. Catches one. And Dupree clears out main. That's a lot of work for Sanji now. Smoke does buy him time. Can call it clear for now. Kick it rotating out in from the inner side. Yeah, very passive stuff here from Australia. So you can see they haven't really worked with any ground. They're just tucked in waiting for pushes across the map. With Magus going so late, Ivy, it looks like he's fully committed to that server position. Device is even lining up some smoke now, maybe for Z. Okay, Sanji gets some info. Cheeky boy. 30 seconds, just pokes his head up like a little groundhog. All four players from VP are out on yard. Okay, 25, here we go, Astralis. Oh, when James had to hit something like that now, he can find another. Tags up Glaive on the jump up, oh. converts both with the sidearms. Five sevens and Deagles fill the feed. 15 seconds, you know Magisk was around that Ivy area. Still catching a timing and catching the spray. Double headshot, seconds. no. Where's the bomb? Five, four, he's got it down in time. That spray from the MAC-10 could have been enough to rock the boat back in Astralis' favor. Vegas already cleared Ivy, so there's timing here for Buster. It's not easy to hit that, Chad. Gets even more difficult for Buster now. Magisk, he's done a lot of the heavy lifting. Despite being Ivy, you saw James just take a cursory glance towards green, but the timing favored him through the smoke. Now Buster's really, really been dealt a dud hand here. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, he's not going to clear Magisk over towards connector here. This is such a tough round to win. This should be Astralis' second. Even got a molly. Don't need it. That's another. Th that's a third for Magisk. Yeah. It, it, impact from these two, right? We were noting some of the impact from Magus within that first half and then Device as well when Ooh. the kills came his way. But this one got very dicey. Buster was actually using the smoke on the train as a one-way. So he gets one of the other kills as they're coming out pop here. You can see him in the x-ray just up and over that train. And this is the impact. The, if Magus doesn't get those two kills, there's no way to get the player out of main towards the bomb train. And that's the round done and dusted. So it got dicey, but they survived. 2-0 now for Astralis and the bike comes back out. Eco for VP this time round, and a Zeus in the hands of Jame. Tasty. Nearly two. Oh. But kick it. Uh, Should have been knocked down. He's actually been able to take device down and out, keeping that deagle alive, making it slightly more justifiable. We do still see the Zeus on Jame. Will we see any electrocution today? Ooh, Glaive could lose everything, and he does. Buster's USP does damage. 
Jame hoping someone gets greedy. 3-0 conversion and maintain maintenance of all of those AK-47s. As long as they don't lose Zipex, they'll be able to retrieve the lost Galil on Glaive. Yeah, he's having a bit of a gander for that one now, just making sure the push isn't coming on through. But James just hoping somebody pushes, and he might be able to use that Zeus. All in all, considering what they went into that round with, VP shouldn't be too upset with two kills. They kept it costly on that first force by rounds, and two more on this one. James... We'll be able to get that AWP out next round. I'm surprised how long in the first half of Overpass he operated without an AWP. And it was seemingly by choice. See him now desperate moments. Can he get anything at all? A Deagle. Oh, a UMP. He's being hunted. If he gets another kill, oh, this, this is be great. something. Oh, oh, not far off. Makes it a little more scary for Dupree on the close, but he does convert. So three, four Astralis off the break. You can see this one did get a little bit more costly than they would have hoped. Busted as well into Galave. And they already got one early as well. Double ops immediately is the response here from VP. Buster has bought one alongside of Jame. Ooh, both operating with low utility. All their pennies into the center of the table. Yeah, it's, Buster's rifling force on that first map, as you rightly pointed out, was huge. So hopefully they don't lose any of that impact now that he's got the big green out. Lots of flashes over just to keep them honest. Device searching for a kill. Might get a chance. He does. Device onto Buster immediately taken out. Yeah, that's gone floppy. No fun for your kinder either. Zero frags for him. Dupree's heading on back to spawn for a bomb retrieval mission. Yeah, we don't have uh, any Mickey Mouse sound cues in our game that tell us you need to pick it up. So uh, they got to work that one out themselves. <laughs> Kick it's alone on B. Oh, look at this position. It's not bad. It could find device, but he's got so many it's difficulties. So hard to yeah. Z's completely negated. It's all on him. And he will find one. Nearly a second oh. device. It does adjust nicely. Sanji found a very crucial frag. That's enabling perhaps play for the retake. Bomb not down yet. Dupree considering it. Plant safe. Sanji's the only one contesting here. He's desperately trying to stop the advance. Oh, just as he evades the flash. Dupree's done a solid shift already for Astralis in these opening rounds. Looks like Yakinda is clearing the way for James to save. So the rifle going first, even gets the second day AWP, and they're going to be able to save that over towards Ivy. It all started with devices opening. So just simple as that, right? You're operating with that 4v5 disadvantage on VP. Kick its position. You don't see that very often whatsoever. And one of the things, is, the reasons that you don't is because if players come out high ramp and low ramp at the same time, you're screwed, right? You're stuck there in the middle. You stand out like a sore thumb. You get wrecked. Now this time, he was able to get away with a little bit of impact. If he didn't turn away, maybe even gets the double. But now Astralis 4-0. And this is more what we were expecting. Double orbs are saved. It's likely if you save two orbs, you're going to buy behind this, right? You drop some guns across, you get it all going, you keep the fans and the fan cams happy at home. If you want to join in, iem.gg slash fan cam. Now, what's VP's buy going to look like here? Because, they, like I said, they will be able to drop some guns across. They will be able to make this one work. Device can even pick up his orb. So currently three going into round number five. M4s and Famuses, utility's good, kick it onto a kit. So we do have another gun round facilitated by those saves. Magus. Ooh, I'm seeing some pace behind Magus. He's gone straight out. And he hears Jame yeah. and executes him so effortlessly. Buster, a crucial trade, but they're out. Looks like they wanted to contest. Glaive does tuck back into main. You kinda confirms it's empty. And on oh, the jiggle, easy. kick it feels like a bit of a twat. Should be the save again already. Yeah, just like that. I hate that I'm saying that, but th that's the case, right? We've seen just how much VP saved. And, and you, to go down like that as well, when you're on the jiggle with your nade in your hand, like that's supposed to be your safe haven. You saw how effective it was from Kicker on Overpass. That T-side jiggle on Monster, yeah. you, how, how rehearsed it was to avoid situations like this where you, you can't even make the call. You just have to say, they're probably in B. Yeah, that's the thing. When you play that style, if you go down, they're already going to be flooded into the site. So your rotators have to be on high alert as you come through. You need to be flashing for each other. You need to drop your own utility. And it's better off with the two AWPs, which they lost the opening on again, right? Just to save. And they're going to get away with it one more time. So there will be another I, I don't see you device BB. getting that frag ever again, though. I mean, they're going to be locking that one down. The brown holes... Once again, converts. That's Astralis into the inner sight. Second time we've seen the bomb explode there. It's interesting they sent him towards B, right? Normally you see the orb searching towards Ivy yep. or out main. Maybe if you need to even get down pop, but it seemed like he was searching just for that kill. So 5-0. Lost bonus maxed on out for VP. They can continue to drop and make this one work. So another threatening buy. This is the thing. Astralis are now having to do this against gun round after gun round after gun round. At some point, the gear will shift, right? You're having a look. Zipex has 7.7k. As soon as the bank for the rest of his teammates gets up around a similar point, they will start hunting in those scenarios because you don't need to allow VP to hold on to it when your bank has been built. 
Back out we go. All right. I mean, to get off to a 5 0 start on the T side of train, I think there's a lot of uh, sighs of relief across Copenhagen. Oh dear. Heavy scrutiny for Magisk. Does get a smoke to relocate. Yakinda wants to push the issue. Of course he does. He might boost over that. Interesting. Oh, oh. on the noggin. Down oh, goes Magisk, and the spray's not far off on Dupree either. That is a very big wrench into the Astralis machine. What are you supposed to do now? You've lost two. Either side of the map, more incendiaries arriving. You can't even get back without Busty. He was posted up on that line. Looks like he still will fill that void. He's got responsibilities at Ivy as well. Yeah, no room is a problem. And wow, Yukinda's even going forward again. Looking good. Device trades, a crucial one. Oh, and Sanji. The pressure was coming oh. in. The timing doesn't favor Device, but his aim does. Quick dispatch of another. Flank from Kick at two ahead of him. They peek on the sound cues. No. He's isolated two of them here. Smoke's perfect for him to work some magic. He's really got to worry about this pop flank, though. Oh, he's going through it. James holding. <gasps> he's not. <laughs> Just <laughs> the gap. <laughs> Woo, goes for the uh, ambitious play, and it is going to enable VP to put their very first on the board. So aggression perhaps is the answer. Yeah, well, uh, this boost right here, how much HP was Magus gone before that nade dunked down his throat? Because that was over 50 damage done to Dupree with the nade. I'm not sure what HP Magus was on before that one was dunked on in, but good stuff. Device had an opportunity in this one, right? When you last alive with the AWP, going for a bit of a play. Orp will be back out, still three of them remain. AK is looking good as well. Ooh, all right then. See his workflow there and early damage caught by Zipex. James already towards B as well, so maybe preempting this one here, Virtus Pro. Two players tucked in, another one coming close as Yukinder also rota rotates over towards the B bomb side. That's just going to leave a lot of pressure on Buster. Okay. So an early lean, I understand why. The issue is these potential late main walks. Buster's going to have to deal with Magisk and the Astralis boys out main, led by Glaive. Sanji's responsible for now. Does have that support. Good catch from Jakey. Ooh, no one steps a toe out of line. Magisk reveals his information. Cork conveys there's no, nobody giving him anything. That Molly's going to make things awkward for Sanji. It's not a fight device wants to take, that's for sure. 40 seconds, they're in. And that goes the bomb. Busters make the call. Glaive trying to find what space. He finds your kinder. Sanji lingers in the smoke. This could be the end. They've walked straight past him. His device going to accept it as clear. And Sanji just reveals himself. That's the end of that. Locked down. Flawless conversion from VP. I'm really confused at Astralis' T side just there. I, I understand they were trying to take space and there's only 30 seconds left on the clock, but nobody could get down pop because of Sanji being an absolute nuisance. They, they couldn't push out. They didn't want to risk Look at device. that. Device has just got to turn his head on a swivel. What on earth? No chance to solve that one. Look how weird. The, the, from Device's POV is right now, I'm probably more interested. Yeah. What is he looking at? Probably one screaming bomb train. <laughs> a bit of smile on his face there, Sanji. All right, uh, that was very perplexed. Astralis don't usually look so disorganized in these late rounds. This is unusual to see from, from these guys. Overpass was similar similar scenes, running into each other late. Here they weren't going as a unit, one at a time. There wasn't really any smokes down. The orbs were able just to operate as they liked. Probably a good time to be taking a bit of a time out here. Might just be pistol upgrades for Astralis. The money's not great. Megas uh, top end with 4.3. Down the bottom, device with 1.9, the life of an AWPer. Double AWPs will remain for VP. And it is just going to be a partial investment here. So not shoving all their chips into the middle of the cha table, just a couple as we've got some flashbangs to work with. So trying to facilitate this Deagle of Dupree would be where I'd be looking. Flash for him, try and get him to take some fights. Zipex is even taking space. Yeah, I wonder how long he'll be able to maintain it. Too easy for you, oh, Kinder. Kick uh, Kicker tries to give them something, but I don't think he wanted to give them an M4. They'll, be, they'll beat them in the site. They can even plant. They're going to get a plant out of this. 
saying that with bated breath. Tight line held and just in time he ducks his head in. Bomb down. Astralis happy with that. And more. That kick at M4 fills the feed one final time. Glaive just still being a nuisance despite catching an AWP bullet earlier. And there should be a formality at this point, but lingering in the smoke, perhaps a chance for a timing. It is just going to be Magisk and not going to be. Jeez, that would have been quite the clutch with the Glock there. I just saw a while where it's like a dink, runs away, nades it, didn't account for it. Awkwardness ensues. I don't know. No real uh, parallel universe I can concoct. That was pretty good with what they went in with. Uh, Zipex did a good job on the fake there, keeping a couple busy. Glaive doing the same thing, being an absolute nuisance over there towards Ivy. So bomb down, mission accomplished. Astralis with the extra cash coming into the bank balance. Kick it to a definitely willing to lay his life on the line for that information. Wasn't probably expecting to see so many just around the corner. Had some brutal death so far, hasn't he? He has. Not so punishing this time. Glaive's out. Straight out to Olof. Sometimes we see late util to retake control. Oh, and he was ready for the angle. Sanji tried to elevate for a tough fight, but the Z-axis, all too easy for Glaive. And he's got away completely scar-free. VP are ready for this right now. They still have two players towards B. James just repositioned. Got so much util. He does manage to drop the first with his AWP alone. Kick it in support, nearly the second. Makes Zipex work incredibly hard for it. James gonna get utility thrown his way, looking for a safe spot, safe re-peak, and he's just tucked into the bomb in time. Slick moves. He can go over this. Good movement, can't quite walk the tightrope, or chooses not to. Knows one's on the site, responsible for the plant. Three on three. Yakinda's late, as is Buster. Jane buying time to see if his teammates can find anything. It's Buster's flash to start the, igni the ignition. One upper. Incendiaries are towards well, Zipex, it has missed. It's actually gone to Jame. Awkward, but Zipex goes down nonetheless. Jame has a smoke. They can smoke and kit. They've got it all. The molly's not going to be enough. They have to contest it with bullets. Three seconds. Glaive can't contest it unless he sprays the first. Just off the angle. And another one in the smoke. VP had a second to fuse to their list of quarter final plays. Four for VP. Nice one there. That got very, very dicey for a second. You could see what was planned, right? You were bang on. The flash facilitates Yukinda. He steps out. Connector. Uh, Buster Molotov's below that low ramp train. That flushes them into the line of sight. Or Jame or Yukinda. They flub that molly and still able to pick up the round. So <laughs> I really want to go back and count just how many nades these guys have missed. Still making it work, though. Yeah, and you can see the angle that Jame opted for is for the anti-ramp spray. Had his teammates to count on them from upper. Oh, yard fake with lots of players oh. back towards box holes quickly here. If Picked James continues to walk, yeah, this could be interesting. Sanji's nade could be destined for greatness. Oh. It's a little shy of the mark. But Astralis, they have got some pep in their step, dude. They want to go quick. Kick it alone. Isolated if they catch a timing here. It looks like the call's been made. Look yeah, at that. They're in time to watch high ramp. Just in the nick of time before the pins are pulled. Kick it's got back up. The There's cavalry has well. well and truly arrived. Here they come. James tries to hit the jump shot, didn't quite land the mantle. Dupree catches some flak, and a one for one. Looking good for Astralis. Space taken, utility deployed. And the bomb planted. Yukinda, Glaive was holding oh. for him and the spray control is just there. Hard to control, hard to master, he's done it. One knocked off the perch on sight. That's a big frag from Sanji. Zipex is on an island now, unless Glaive can bail him out. They're both there. And Sanji's found another. He's through. Looking good. Multiple targets, but Buster as the smoke fades, fills the feed one final time. Five. VP stringing together some retakes here. The bombs have been going down. That's three rounds in a row. Well, they were lucky with that rotation time right there. And I, I want to go back to the Astralis game versus Spirit just the other day. Spirit had this bailout execute that we saw them using earlier in the tournament and Astralis stifled it with one simple smoke. Well, here on this execute, the same thing was done for VP. They're aware they want to push that highway position up towards connector, close down the gap, take away the space for the rotation. All you have to do on the CT side, drop a smoke of your own. Just force them to stand and wait behind it. They don't want to run through that gray screen and they're just whittling them down one at a time. They seem to have buckets worth of utility left as well. Molly's flashes smokes for these retakes. Good game plan so far from VP, 5-5. Five, five. Oh, that's a big frag early. They've lost their IV hold. To fill the gap is Sanji. Playing it off spawns a little, it seems. Yukinda and Sanji just floating between the two responsibilities. And... I have a feeling Yukinda's going to get flashed in here. This just seems like something he wants to do. 
They'd be staring right at it. <sighs> okay. I thought he might go for a bit of an equalizer right there. Jane will ward off any advance from Estrada's into halls. I know where the AWP oh, is now. Cut the tension by a knife as points of contact continue to be floated around. And don't forget, the CTs are still stomaching the loss of Buster very early into the piece. Device catching that IV AWP. Looks like they're going for a retake B setup again. You can see how passive Jame is on the radar in your top left, just throughout a smoke towards low ramp. But this fight towards Ivy, it's another big duel. Are they going down pop? It still feels like Astralis haven't completely made up their mind just yet. Sanji's been holding this religiously. And Magis can't adjust in time. Or before now. He'll take that any day and there's no pressure elsewhere. What do you do? James surely has the cross. Just in the nick of time, the util's going to be very telling here. If they go dry, James just has to hit the shot, just has to hit this one. And he has. Zipex does fall, but that wasn't the bomb. Nice work from Glaive. Baited in by Zipex. Bomb can be planted. Room to play, room to maneuver. Sanji's advanced a little ahead of the pack, though. Could have the element of surprise. Kick it's caught one in the halls, and now it's all onto one. More impact from Sanji. 11 frags to his name. Triple kill on the retake. And VP playing for the retake just looks effortless. That's four. Yeah, and the reason I say he just needs one there is because he's containing how many players cross to the site. You get to that kill, only one player can cross. That means they don't have to worry about oil on this retake. And they started with the opening again. Astralis have had a bunch of rounds where they found the opening. Low ramp, devices had a couple of openings. You've obviously had Magus in the mix as well when he pushed out killing Jame that one round. But they're just able to use this space so well. This, their communication must be on point right now because they never look like they don't know what's going on. And that's really important as it forces Astralis to take another time out. Now, this has been quite the slew of rounds. Six on the trot. It was a great opening. Astralis happy with five, I would say, on the half. But if they can get anything more, they should be jumping up and down for it. And, and VP being able to come back from this, Sanji being the highest fragger. Hell yeah. And he's been doing so much of the grunt work. Into the side. This was the previous defuse. You can see that... Uh... The angle of that diffuse from Jame, and this was more impact from Sanji. This is not the round prior. Just more and more Sanji spectacles. He's been dealing with Ivy, dealing with Pop. This is the multi-kill to put the sixth on the board. Loving it. Nice little frag Oof. highlights there from Sanji. You yeah, don't always see those. Sanji frag movie. We're only 11 rounds in into our 12th now. Standard maneuvers. Look at these two. He they want it. main control for sure this time round. They can even do this dry. They don't have to drop smokes or flashes because of the elevation of the train. So the two-man, actually three-man push, if you consider the AWPA, and they've taken space free. Oh, not so free anymore. Wow. Free holding it way back punishes the look. They'd flashed in by his teammate. just wasn't enough. Now on the retreat is device. Buster's there to punish. Oh, oh you play it to perfection. He threw all of the util just to get himself out of dodge. They have Ivy and team main control, right? Two key parts of the map right now and a retake B-bomb side again. Yeah. You can have it, Astralis. They're happy to retake. I don't know how they okay. make it look so easy and pff, Sanji's Sanji. got another. He's having a mad one. Impact frags all over the place. And yet to plant, Kickett's happily lurking here. There's one walking through Z. That could be a gap. Hello. That's the bomb confirmed still on the inner site. Too much space. Astralis don't know what to do with it. That's a punishing frag, though. They've taken down Sanji. Two in the Z. Buster, Util thrown at his location. Oh. There you have it. Glaive head on a swivel. Slinking his way behind enemy lines to find Astralis another round. Stressful situations for Astralis, right? We can just see how these fights, they're unraveling, they're all across the map, main pushes, Ivy fights, and then they get that space. Glaive has had to take a lot of risks, or maybe not a lot of risks, he's had to make a lot of plays in this game, right? I think Overpass as well, he had a lot of assists, but he was taking a lot of space, making a lot of space. Is this Buster shot again, playing ahead of that utility, so he's not denied the space, it even gets the kill. This shot from Sanji was nice, but Glaive is the one that I want to focus on here. Look how pushed up he is. Sanji has no idea this is possible. They know they're playing retake, but Glaive is the in-game leader. He's going to take more of these risks, right? As an in-game leader, you tend to be able to not have to tell your teammates what to do. It's better if you can just go do it yourself because they're clearly playing this retake style towards the inner site and you have to punish it some way. There's one way it's been punished. So now 
This is where VP, how do you mix it up? Do you send an AWP towards that B bomb site? Do you try and pick high ramp? Do you see if you're able to punish them so they can't go for those type of late walk in plays? 6-6, six, six. the desk was talking about some aggression out of VP, like what we saw from Gambit. We've seen it. It's helped them a few times. It's fallen apart on other occasions, but the guns are still out. Not the double AWP this time. Buster will be operating with a rifle, up close and personal into pop. And lots of pressure on Kick It Early. He's on an island right now. Yeah, gun drawn, scared to pull the pin. Does drop it in time, they're coming up. A perfect pre-aim, needs a second. Glaive's got space. Even keel again, 4v4, but not an even set of circumstance. Bombs planted already. Sanji smoked off. This doesn't look favorable at all. They've pulled it off before. They've denied expectations before. It just takes one to kick down the door. Where do they go? Flash is available by the boatload. There's the first to fall. Now the tower starts to wobble. Dupree next on the plate. Great late flashes. Zipex now vulnerable. Multiple targets, multiple areas to worry about. Smoke's on the bomb. They've got enough time. The Molly's not going to save you. Got the AWP. And James just staring at him. Does shut him down. Needs to knock him off the bomb. And another round for VP. It just always looks so, so difficult to break down that retake, but every time there's someone finds that first frag. There is one detail of that round that we missed in part of that retake, and that is the player in pop. I believe it was Buster. He threw a nade up pop. That kept device above pop and watching behind T main for the entire round. Buster went all the way back through connector. Device could have no impact whatsoever as they retook that site 4v3 because device was out of the picture. He had to watch the flank. So sly. Evades the flash. Maybe that peak. Oof, James taking a chunk out of device. Can't land the punish nade. The wall bank's not far off, is it? Sanji, 1337 indeed. 13 kills, seven deaths, nades flying into his face. You're to try to evasively hold main. The spray through the smoke, that's quite a way to announce your presence. Zipex has taken down the Kingslayer. Nice smoke to make space. One exchange here from Yakinda. He's just standing and fighting right now. They want to biff this one. Not afraid of the individuals on Astralis here and just continuing to search and be an absolute nuisance. Will be two players stuck on that B bomb side again. VP do not want to allow them to push up and go aggressive towards connector this time. And the fact that they're defending yard in a 2 2 setup, yeah, no worries whatsoever. This is uh, interesting. They're even rotating another man over. So the wrong call, the wrong gamble has been made from VP early. Still 45 seconds left. Eyes will be on your kinder. Oh, they smoked him off. Yeah, he's up. He's ahead of it. And oh my lord! He's out. Knocked down by Dupree. Two out mains, the core. Bomb scooped up now by Zipex as he looks to join them on this yard finish. Glaive's already on the bomb train. Seems like VP. Yeah. More than happy to have one <laughs> final bite into the 15th. Yeah, I was about to get. Should I ruin it? Should I spoil it? They're saving. Now, this is where they want to win the half with the 8 7. And to do so, their money, it's been. Whittled down. God, if it's a 2014 Titan sticker, that one's worth a bit, huh? Someone was telling me that, that Dupree's operating with an expensive AK. Was that you? Yeah, it was. I saw some people um, nerding out over the specifics of his case hardened. It's a blue uh, blue gem, you know, the float, a unique float that makes yep. it all blue. Okay. And it's Titan Hollow's 2014 edition. It's, it, it's, it's a massive flex. Like, he's walking in, like, bejeweled, bedazzled. Covered in diamonds, Gucci slides. Okay, so he's got like like the grills. Is that what the kids are yeah, wearing? He's got days? grills. Yep. He's probably got a couple of face tats, and his SoundCloud is of dropping next year. Okay, all right. Well, at least we've been able to uh, know where Dupree's career is going after all this. Seven seven, guns saved, guns dropped, and this is Zipex just in the smoke. So this is grey screened. Uh, I don't know how else to put it. He's very lucky to get that one. You can see here. Sanji just blind, no idea what's going on. Buster does very well to handle the hunt here. Keeps hold of everything he needs and sends a couple more back to the Stone Age. So not too shabby. Seven to seven, our final round of play. Just a quick little tech issue here. We'll get this one out of the way in no time. As we'll just fly you through train here. Listen to those beautiful train horns, guys. <laughs> oh, music to my ears. Are you anti-pigeon, Chad? 
anti-pigeon? I feel like everyone just, you know, thinks it's cool to chat smack about pigeons. Uh, I would say that the uh, rats are the bird. Uh, you see, this is what I'm saying. Like, I know it's not an original statement anymore. We just like to say it because. But they, they are. They're a bit verminy. How many rats do you see roaming around on a daily basis? Well, not very many. They also don't fly. No, no. So is it the visibility of the rats that, that, that equates them to that of the uh, winged variety? That's a good, that's a good point. Because, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm always seeing them and they're always just not really bothering me and just hanging out. Because, like, if, if rats were hanging out to, the, to the, the state that pigeons are, I'd be pretty freaked out, you know? I mean, like, just hanging out by the fountain, everyone's sitting, just letting the rats eat their crumbs. Like, that would be a different world. It's not a rat with wings. Maybe we can get Smoothie on the line and see what he thinks. Yeah, well, I'll talk to the king. You know a rat king's a real thing? Is it? Yeah, when loads of rats hang out and their tails get all knotted, they become like this weird kind of creature with its own brain. Like, they all start to move in unison with their tail. Is this a tail. Rick and Morty episode? No, or? that's a real thing. All right, that's rat kind kings. of scared me a bit. More scary than Smoothie. <laughs> Let's get into it. Looks like we do have Sanji back in the server and we are ready to rock and or roll. If you just joined us, don't worry. More Counter-Strike around the corner. We've already had one quarter final. And this one, perhaps even heating up into a third, should we see Astralis convert train? Admittedly, Chad has outlined that the last two train picks we've seen from Astralis have not been converted in their favor as we take a walk down the... Oh, oh. Don't show that. Show the naughty we didn't finish stuff. that bit yet. All right, guys, I can tell you, as a matter of fact, we are ready to go. So the tech issue, it has been solved and we'll get this one back underway here. Winner of this goes on to play Liquid tomorrow. Ooh. Now, if you're an Astralis fan, you know that they uh, tend to get the better of Liquid. If you're a VP There's a little fan, bit of history there. It might be a bit new, a bit of a new story being written. Nine seconds left and away we go. Oh, no, never mind. I lied to everybody. You you see, Chad. Well, they were typing a lot in chat. We've I thought both it was done it. have fun. We've both done it. I thought it was GLHF time as well. <sighs> All right, let's see. Maybe we get it this time around. Have another crack at it. Third time's the charm. Everyone's readied up. It's always a good sign. Guns are being dropped. The admin is ready. And that means we're ready. Okay, enough false starts here today. Who's going to come out on top of this half here? VP, they've clawed back into this. It was a 5-0 start to kick things off. Six on the trot. And then back and forth for the last couple. James being kept relatively quiet. Only five for him. That's the AWP in the final round of play here. Utility up and over the top. No real intent behind it. As Sanji scurries all the way up into Pop Dog again. Device going for that B pick. It's off towards Hiram, but Magus actually has a bit of pep in his step. Yeah, he hasn't gone for this before. He might go and try and... Yeah, okay, he baits it. Walks through. Buster, prepared, but not quite enough. Two Astralis frags onto the both main and IV aggressors. Getting a bit hot, getting a bit steamy. Sanji tries to bail himself out. They've completely left B here, VP. They've stacked towards Yard. And right now, it's looking like it could be an OK call. But with the minute 10 left on the clock, so much time for Astralis to work this one out. What's Glaive going to decide they want to finish with? Simple stuff. If you just regroup and trade out as a team, likely to pick up a round like this. There should be no way back in. Yeah, if you... Oh, OK. <laughs> this could be a risky maneuver. If Sanji keeps going up, he might catch a bit of a timing here. Oh, oh my God, Sanji. Dupree. Just the tip of his head was enough of a cue. Zipex feels a little, little hot under the collar oh, now. Sanji. Not bad damage on his way out. Jame, working with that info, still paranoid of the Magis crawl. He knows it's a possibility. And Magisk arrives just in the nick of time. Only kick it then. Looks like Astralis. Trying to back up their map pick. He does weather a lot of damage through the Molotov. The element of surprise with this angle, though. Might catch someone on a regress. Device will check it. Can't adjust. So, eight for Astralis. Seven VP. Close as can be.
one of the things that I think Virtus.pro has as a weakness is that I think if with the right preparation and the right idea to approach the game, I think you can find gaps in their game. Obviously, you can do that with every other team, but I believe that with the right pr proper preparation that we are well probably well known for in Astralis, I I definitely say that that we have a really strong uh, card to play against them and have a really good time to actually figure out what to do against them. And I think that is what is going to give uh, give us an edge in the game. Into the young flat being up mid with the eagle onto Rez. Definitely making that one look our easy. Give me one. Oh, oh. them. Yes, please. Oh. Yakinda. Popsky's a bit slow through this, and another frag for Yakinda. He is just taking this round. Jamin, the smoke. Maybe could have got someone, but no. Yakinda. He uses that as a bit of a distraction at least, but now he's got a one on two still to pull off. It shocks on half health. Shot, but Yakinda's there on the flank. Trying to change the game. There's multiple players. He's got them all. It's left to Malta. Just a scout in hand. 19 points of health stuck in behind Gandalf, and he's done for. And he is well too aware of that fact. Just wants to play with the clock. So smart, so patient here. And there come the kills, and yet Kindar Damn. takes them both in the same breath. No, I would say Virtus Pro, even though Astra is the favorite there, I might say. But uh, Virtus Pro is it's playing very well as well, and I think we're gonna have a Virtus Pro winning this time. Back underway then, Virtus Pro 7, Astralis posting 8, just pipping them at the post. Well, I'm out pick, Sponge is hanging out with me, the brains of this brigade, I'll be the one making the loud noises. And Virtus Pro versus Astralis, battling off head to head for the first time since that Star Ladder Berlin Major Final in 2019, a year and a half since we saw these two teams go head to head, and it's a luxury for all of us tuning in live around the world here for I am Kenovita 2021, get the quarterfinal, second pistol started for train. Do see VP on the attack. It'd be interested to see what they pull out here once they get the weapons flowing, Chad. Yeah, well, Sanji was influential in that first half. We might need someone else to step it up for Truth. VP here in the second. Good, be, be good to see another Yakinda T side. We know he's been the, the, an upgrade, especially on their T side rounds and conversion of those aggressive maneuvers as I hit puberty. <clears throat> We've all been there. Excuse me. P250 is enough to force Zipex back. He didn't drop out any of his utility there, so very stoic. There are three players spread across the yard. Nade comes through, lick of damage. One point of health taken away there from Buster. That's it. Ugh. Something intimidating about hearing those USP shots into the metal. James thinks the same. Passive hold, responsible just for info maneuvers. And Sanji's got a smoke for that green train, so that will deny Magisk's support. Kick it with one. Connector or front bomb. 50 second mark. Smokes will start to land. They regroup. Ikenda's out. Oh, Kickert's out of the round, though. Losing him early. That's going to slow them down. Flash is good to at least get some space. It's minimal, especially now Dupree confirms that the bomb train is a threat. Oh. And Dupree's done more than that. Hits another head. Sanji claws one back. Trying to keep it competitive. If they can deny the plant, it's all over. Pushing in. Zipex missing his shots. Device not. Jame converts on the goosh. It's all on to Jame, though, and with 20 HP, one bullet or a nade will convert. Astralis posting themselves a converted pistol. That's both pistols here, and now the discussion around Astralis a couple weeks ago was they were pretty rubbish on their pistols. They were having a hard time. 
Something that they've been speaking about a lot has been defining their map pool and obviously working on some of these issues, just like the pistol round. So this is exactly what you need to take map number two and take us all the way to Inferno. That will be map number three waiting in the wings. There's the opener and there's the follow-up. So yeah, not getting too frazzled right there, Astralis, with the smokes coming into play, just standing and hitting some big shots. VP currently look like they're operating with an eco in mind. You can definitely tell Dupree is responsible for the morale at times, isn't he? Get him hyped, yeah. yeah. Just keeps got to keep the uh, the mojo flowing. Consistency. He's always going to be making those noises uh, down the mic. And okay, what's got your grill? They just bought in very very late. I thought this would have been an eco from VP, but they've opted to buy in. So we've got a scout, two UMPs, a Mac 10, Ooh. a Galil as well. Utility is looking good now. It looks like they're heading straight over towards B to go for a bit of a set piece. Inter I mean, this is definitely going to catch them off guard, right? It's not going to be something you're going to have. Uh, been anticipating. Device could not be in a more prime position to deal with anyone bursting out upper. Zipex close quarters with a MP9 as well, which should shred through any uncoordinated tees with a tight line like that. This is like a budget gun round. James needs to stay alive so they can't keep probing. But being spotted is not going to do any harm. Oh, that will, though. boy, catch that. They've thrown that a couple times, Astralis. This time, lots of damage done. Sanji down to 42. Clave's got no armor behind this. Shouldn't be an issue. His late arrival may even not require it. 45. Here comes the util. Breaking through Zipex and hoping to smoke off device is their objective. Oh. And oh, you can't knock him off when he's already putting bullets through the smoke. Trying to play with fire here. One frag down, bomb not across. Looks like they'll get the chance. Yakind has actually flashed himself through. Dupree, he heard it, solved it. And looking all too easy for the Danes to close this one out now. Sanji and Jame up against it all. Getting hunted now as Dupree continues to advance. It's not a favorable duel. Sanji's made it one though. Two on two now, gets awkward. Glaive no armor, don't forget. Needs a clean one, finds it. Sanji up against two. Can he be the hero of this round? He can't. It will be Device, long range with that orc. He does enough of the heavy lifting there. Oof, that got very, very dicey there for a moment. Getting the bomb down, great stuff there for VP. But Astralis, they need to be thanking their lucky stars. There was a moment that one could have all completely unraveled. Yeah, they added one to their lucky stars in Berlin. <sighs> Nice little span there from Dupree through the smoke. This double integral, right? If Dupree goes down, if Yukinda gets a rifle in the back lines, could have been a completely different round. But they stabilize. And with that, VP are going to continue to buy here. It's going to be an AK-47 for Yukinda. Head armor behind it. Partial purchases for the others. They're still threatening. More damage here is name of the game. They're flashing him out. Go on, Yukinda. Let's see what you're made of. Team has faith. Let's see why. Tight line held, but it's not the AWP. It's an AWP. Might be a bit more... Forgiving for Yakinda's advance. He's up sandwich. He evades all of that early U-turn and spray. And as the smokes fade, round two, Yakinda already with the KO. Device down, re-smoking there on the bomb train. His crosshair was perfect, but so the much pressure. miss there gives them a bit more. Oh, what, what are you up to? Magic through the smoke goes down. Tried to catch him off guard. Maybe someone else needs to take that AK. Yeah, James, he'll do the honors. Yakinda has cracked into the site. He's made a round out of this now. Oh. Wow, they've got space at this point, Wait, VP. What's the kick it got? Oh, he's having a sniff. He hasn't go gone any further that? than that. Did he see Zipex cross? Don't think so. Would have reported it back. Ooh, a late Ivy walk for Sanji. Gifted the AK-47. He does have the Kevlar vest. Makes sense. Sanji now would have to be the hero. And bombs on James. So to get that to the A bomb, they're going to have to break a lot of these crossfires. Hard clear here. Oh, good crosshair. Good clicks. Oh, and kick what? it with the click to change it all. Now the bomb can go down. I said it was a tough road to the bomb. Now it's a tough road back in. Poor old Zipex. They do call him the clutch minister. Very quiet so far here on Astralis's pick. And he's going to get played with now. So many targets. Only so little time. And in the back of the head, Sanji, Sanji will secure hero. it. Playing hot potato with the AK-47. It had three different VP hands on it across that round. And impact found. Eight VP pulling Astralis's lead back into an even kill. Look at that. One from Yakinda. 
And then seeing that swap around, yes, he gets dunked, but kick it with the crucial headshot. I cannot believe that. Sanji was the man that dropped the AK, which gave it to Yakinda to make the space. He gets it back and finds the two kills there that were integral in winning that round. So Sanji is an absolute hero in train. VP, they're back in this one, 10 to eight. Guns yeah. are out. Look at Device in the buy. It's awkward. It's scouts. It's mag sevens. And there's some pace behind VP here, really? All the way? Not just smoke and mirrors? Oh, my <laughs> God, Yakinda. Spanks two of them. That'll do nicely. Yeah, that's, there's uh, no way back into this. That's that. <laughs> and the force by right? Astralis were operating with peanuts as it was. They're going to have to hold on to a Mag-7, a Deagle, and a Scout, right? That's the best that they can boast to take into next round because they will have to take a save. This here was their chance to wrestle back the economy and not have to give it up. And Yakinda just runs out high ramp. They just go, oh, yeah, we'll rush B. We'll just shoot you in the head. Simple as you like. And now VP, well, nine rounds. I don't think they're going to be going too far. They don't want to be giving away any of these AK-47s, that's for sure. Yeah, I just, I, look, the, the details is, right, with Sanji dropping that gun across the round that they win, if he didn't get those kills, he would have got no credit for that. He, he's facilitating these rounds, right? And he's also doing it in style. 18 kills. He's leading the server right now. The next closest is Dupree on the other side of things with 17. Bomb goes off. Dots on the radar above each other. Looks a bit awkward, but uh, different verticals. And here's your kinder. So taking out the back of Bomb. Oh, my God. Surely that's he. Like, wh what are we talking about here? Is this is Zantara's peak type this is situation. Just muscle memory, baby. That He's cleared so those good. angles so many times it just comes as easy as breathing. Whoo wee, all right. Well, Astralis, they have these three guns. They can operate with this, right? If we're going to paint the picture, Device gets a couple of tags with the scout, Dupree with a few bullets to the belly, Zipex up close and personal with the shotgun. It's definitely doable. And for VP, this can really tidy things up. We've seen their restraint. Now is the time for it. Distinct advantage for Virtus Pro. And they do win out in their duel on Ivy. Device gone, forced to watch as this could be the equalizer for Virtus Pro. Gathering their resources. This could be a big duel here, Chad. There's three of them. It's only pistols, not going to work out. They may not be expecting a third. Could have an element of surprise on Magisk here. Just that USP though. Oh, what, yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that one. Dupree's Deagle. And Kicker it couldn't be any more prepared. It's going to come down to timing and yeah. Good dink. Good dink. Trying to punish. Buster called upon. And there you have it. 10-10. Not a body going down against the Deagle and USPs. Back into the buy now. All right, well, it's heating up now because Astralis will purchase on through, but one of the issues they're going to have is lack of utility. Oof, it's tight. Yeah, uh, Zipex is the, the inner anchor, only operating with a smoke here, so that's going to make his life a living hell. Maybe they send device over there to deal with it early. It's not a great buy, all things considered, but let's see if Astralis can make it work here. Early smoke's over from VP. Five lane yeah. E-Box just conditioning, forcing out that early utility, kick it making some sound cues. Zipex has already used his utility. Lining something up here is kick it. Nice CT nade onto his head, but oh, Dupree's been spotted out. <gasps> what? Yakinda still gets it while flashed. He ate a bit of his team's utility there. Now into the site. Buster out Olof. Sanji a bit more hesitant, understandably, with the bomb. It's a full commitment should he go down. This is an important duel. Oh, and it's a dink exchange. Jame lives to tell the tale. Mage is gone now. This really does get difficult. Glaive's out on Ebox. He's on a bit of an island. Uncertainty brewing as that Ivy player disappears. Could be pop as that 40-second mark arrives on your clock. Glaive is everything here. You might have to tuck in. Okay. So that's covered at least. Oh, the timing on this. Oh, he spots him out. Saw the bomb? No, bomb's in main. Just Jame. Yeah, trying to sell it. And a crucial frag. You said it was on Glaive. That's the bomb loose. They can't even trade. Oh, Glaive getting away with murder. 20 seconds. The longer he lives, the better it is. Does go down. Bomb scooped up, but a frag from device nonetheless. Can't contest the plant. I say that with bated breath. Zipex could try. 
They're both tucked in. Looks good for the angle. They're both pushing in. They got it. Just need to find Buster. The spray is wild from Zipex. Knocks off the one. Just Buster, but he wins his 1v1. He knows the AWP was around Ivy. Oh. And peeking into the AWP was a mistake. 11 for Astralis Devices. Time to celebrate. Right down to the 1v1, right down to the wire. Yeah, and that was already a buy that Astralis had to scrap together, right? I was talking about lack of utility as they left spawn. No defuse kit here for Device to get that bomb. And he's back pocket and taken away. And yeah, it was Glaive, right? As soon as that bomb gets thrown in the open, you can see just how ropey it becomes for VP. VP are doing a very good job of taking limited space and then just pausing. So that's going to be threatening for Astralis as they go forward. You can see the reaction of Dupree here. As, uh, they have to make this buy work, Astralis, and they don't have a lot of pennies to do so. Whereas for VP, Alex, I'm looking at the money right now. James hasn't bought yet. He's still got 12K. So sitting pretty right now. You were telling me when we first started, Katowice, though, that, that Astralis have got a tendency of top four finishes at these IEMs. Uh, yeah, this would be the first time, right, that they wouldn't be making it into that top four. There was a bit of a pattern emerging, right? It was like uh, third, fourth, first, third, fourth, first, third, fourth. This time, I think it was meant divorce to be... Divorce, beheaded, uh, died. Divorce, beheaded, survived. Is that... Uh, for any of our oh, okay. history buffs that were wondering about Henry VIII's wives still. <laughs> All right. You look at this buy, Alex. Two MP9s, one for Dupree, one for Zip. At least they have utility this time. And Magus has actually been given the AWP, so not device. Curious to see where they want to operate with this. Magus traditionally orbs back a green and ivy. And it's a five-man yard lean. Eesh. Gotta have balls to get out of main like that against Astralis' util and spray. But he's done it here. completely unscathed. Follow-up util, the second wave. Yakinda found success last time. And he's gonna try again. It's Dupree eating the flashbang and the lead. Device quick trade. Important duel for Sanji. It's Magisk. Do you really play with fire and hold the line? Nice frag. Okay. Buster's out all off. They continue to press the issue. Glaive goes down on Ebox. Now a three on three. This mid round is going to be very telling. Astralis. They are certainly on the ropes here. This is an important round to convert against the bigger picture. Don't forget VP. Their coffers are full. But look at this, right? As Zipex rotates back towards the B bomb site, he has to clear everything. They didn't have anybody watching B whatsoever. They have no idea if they've completely lost that bomb site. But Magus is taking some info back. Ivy called clear. That might facilitate a rotation. Surely Zipex or maybe even Device. He's going to have his work cut out for him. They're already down. Oh, and already across. James spots a glimpse of the top of the ladder. He's and gone back. That's a fake. He showed the bomb. You They're rotating King. completely. That's so naughty. Up the ladder, spot the bomb. Zipex rotates in, dumps what little he has. They have truly pants them. Everyone in the playground points and laughs. Oh, Magus can still unravel this. He could. The timing's good. It's not bad at all. Oh, Bust has no idea. Back turned, bomb being planted. He can contest and it's loose. Kick has got to come up clutch now. Completely destabilized. Device surely going to knock him off the plan. Pushing. He is. Just enough time, the miss, miss. the USP, oh my lord. Whoa. Everything up for debate in this game. Astralis, they completely ate the bait, but they pull that hook out and throw a right hook right back. <sighs> that one was tight. Very tight stuff here. You can see Buster just looking away. Magus with two massive kills. The it was the one, get. the one position they hadn't accounted for is that late lurk hadn't cleared it. Towards that old bomb, you can see the element of surprise. Whoa. <laughs> as soon as that frag started coming in, the bullets from behind him. Ooh. When device misses that first USP threat, you know the entirety of Astralis. Just take a quick inhale. Yeah, close your eyes, look away. All right, still on a knife's edge here. Money now slowly being whittled down for VP. These plants have been great. They buy again. The utility is great again. Jane, still only nine kills, so haven't had a huge amount of impact from him. Modest. He's the one steering this ship, orping an in-game leading. And it looks like, well, the emergency button's been hit. When you can't get that space in yard, when you can't convert those rounds, you go back to a B execute. And there's three players from Astralis already on the B bomb site. Device rotating over Glaive here as well. Standard setup towards the high ramp. We've seen a lot of this. The bait and switch. It's even more potent with Glaive hanging around towards the bottom of that low ramp train. Here's the utility. They want more. Buster just gets away with a scrap of health, but it does break the crossfire they had previously established. The bait and switch, as you've established. Might just top of pop, or rather, excuse me, underneath. So any sound cues made above him will be relayed. 
they still want to go for this B here, right? You can see that there's no presence on the default. They're not poking around Ivy. There's nobody in main and Astralis right now. They're a little bit quizzical. They're pushing forward. They're clearing all off. They're making sure they're not under any attack in his device. Third man of Glaive coming back over now. This is perfect for Astralis. They cannot lose this one. Not with three players here. Not with a setup like this. Seems destined to succeed. Here they come. VP, two, down the catwalk. Looking for space. Your kind is bringing the bomb up cat as well. This is vulnerable to the spray, but the smokes are good enough to get across. I say that. 15, yes, bomb planted. VP have managed to get into the site off the back of their utility, but this is a telling duel. One for one, still no clear advantage for either. Dupree very late, very, very late to the party. And kits, plentiful, Dupree and Zipex providing. They don't Saving. look like they want this. Yeah, they're calling this off. Wow, VP, the power of that util. It looked like it was a, a round of strides. Couldn't, couldn't stomach to yeah, concede. They had three players there, right? How much more do you need? When it's a B hit and you have three players, you know that it's likely going to be an execute right, like that, right? A way to deal with it is having more bodies closer in the site by the coils on the bomb train. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's Style one way to get points. an exit kill. Don't think uh, anyone else is to go down here. All right, that was cheeky. 12 to 11, still knife's edge situation. I think the reason Astralis call that off is because they're not going to get a massive loss bonus, right? They're only working with that 1400 going into this next round of play. This kill was probably it, right? If they clear kick it, they have the number advantage, then they might consider it. But the fact that they're operating at not much utility, down a man, money in the bin, they lose that round. That could have even been, you know, three or four rounds in a row for VP off the back of that. This way they get another buy. Standard utility lobbed on over from VP. This time you kinder out again. How much more space can this kid work with? Oh, he's so flash. He's oh, the free fire. For the spray. Oh, okay. Glaive playing with fire through the flames. Down to five. Man advantage again for Astralis. To claw it back is James on the hunt. Doesn't find anything on his prowl just yet. Over the edge of the smoke could have found Glaive, but no. This is the type of round where the extremity players kick it in sand. You probably have to take a bit of a risk here. Oh, the timing has not favored James any time. Glaive gets that info off green. Device wants info main. There is a slight gap here. Oh, and Device has already managed to send James packing. This is the gap. Buster does well to jump through it. If he finds Magisk, oh, he had a cue. He had a chance. Starting to dwindle now as 13 looms. Just Sanji in the... Ooh, I heard that. That's info. <laughs> no question as to where he's coming from. And Glaive just unloads a mag willy-nilly into the smoke. Okay, Astralis will be posting that one. That's really going to kind of... Uh, put to bed any risks and, and fears of the finances. The CTs will have a nice little bed to lie upon. Yeah, stabilizes them somewhat here, but VP have enough money to go for yet another buy. And this is Glaive's opening. I've been speaking about his impact and how he's making a lot of these plays. Well, there's another one, right? That right taking your kinder out of the picture within the opening few seconds of the round is huge. Buy again. So VP, it, felt like, it feels like they've always had a gun round in this one. Jame, of course, having an AWP. They lose this one, well, money then will be in the bin. So VP need to make sure they win this round. Otherwise, that might be map number two. Done and dusted, as it were. Run boost cancelled. Smoke makes that a little bit difficult. Ooh, that's unconfirmed damage. Dupree chunked on down to 42 through the smoke. VP won't know how lucky they are. And standard stuff. So no main control, no pop control early. Just a little bit of presence towards Ivy. Aegis can't go down without one here. They're about to take back pop control. So flash on in, Dupree, alley -ooped. Sees nobody's home. But info goes both ways. That flash tells VP that they've taken back control. And okay, smoke might be a little bit shallow, but they're still able to use it to lurk. And a flash being set up for Sanji, Alex, this might be a problem for Magisk. Oh, he saw him cross. His toes are there, staring. Does turn for the flash, and so an easy frag for him. Another first blood drawn. And there's more where that came from. Two bodies hit the deck for VP. The Ivy Luck gone. They're going to have to take some riskier maneuvers and straight through the flames is Buster in that vein. Oh, quite the choice from Kicker. He's taken back Ivy control and stopped Glaive's push. There's only 28 seconds left. They need to get a move on if they want to go for this round here, oh, VP. Dupree can spoil it all. You can see how passive he's holding. He knows 
He's got that cross to the bomb on lock and key. You still have to plant, boys. 15 seconds. Dupree makes it all too clear. You have to knock him off. And even Zipex with a good line. 10 seconds. Vice is on the bomb. You can't really Saving. contest this. They're running back to main. Pull the plug. Okay. Ooh, that was the right call, but it felt like they made that way too late. Some very dicey moments there as Astralis tried their luck through the smoke to see if anybody's lingering around. Three guns saved. Yakinda can buy. Astralis, though, they're closing in on this one. Hands around the throat, Inferno as a third map decider for this quarterfinal. Hangs in the balance of BP. What do we think they try here? Maybe something a little bit quicker, see if you can work with some pace. Sanji onto the Deagle, but we've seen him operate with less. He has been a hero throughout this one. Same smokes again to condition. Flashes are great. Safe passage, and oh no, Dupree gets caught by an insta jame drop, and he's even scavenged away an AK-47 for his troubles. Quite the upgrade for his comrade. Okay, this is a lot of info from, from Magus, Ooh, though. Look how quick they're, they've got some pep in their step, dude. They're out upper, already dropping off. Some serious space taken. Zipex can ruin it all. Oh, don't No one, here. no one is expecting this walk up. This could be the multi. Weapon in his hand, converts the first. Four on four, Zipex just really looking a little lost here. But the bomb is ticking in a 4v4. So much util on him as well. Smoke, incendiary on Zipex. Glaive spotted, pushing on that right side. Kick it, now responsible. Magisk has already taken him down, getting awkward, 4vp. Losing players all over. Just Buster and Sanji, both from the hall side. Smoke is there, should enable Buster for something. The sprays can nerf, and I think that's the round. Astralis just don't have the manpower. And there you have it, VP. They steal one away. Ooh, deep breath right there, dicey moments. A bomb is their best friend. In that first half, it was the retakes. Now, by courtesy of the bomb, they convert just, I mean, they lost everyone. 3.5K across the board. It's not going to be easy to replicate. This is how Jame opens things up for his squad. Yeah, not faffing around with that ladder, just dropping straight on down, beating Dupree to the punch. Kicked it off with a big opening. But yeah, that's so dicey there. You're right in terms of both players being box holes. That's a nightmare versus a retake. And you can see here, just catching the blood through the smoke was Buster. Oh, okay. Well, a timeout will be taken. Lost to talk through here. This one's going to be called by VP. They know they're up against it. You're right, that three and a half. They will have to talk through how they want to make this buy work. Kickett's opted in with the Galil and Kevlar. No head armor. The CTs have no dramas buying. And they've even gone in with the AWP and AUG combo. Utility's good. Kits are good. This round right here could be the difference maker. If VP pull this one out, they can take us all the way. Astralis win this. It's likely they seal the deal and close it out. Lots to talk through. They've made the buy work. Utility low. Two Galils, three AKs. Three players operating with Kevlar instead of head armor. That levels the playing field against those M4s on the field. What do you got for us, VP? Bomb straight over towards box hole. Same nades over main. Just looking and making it stay exactly the same on these defaults. The AWP is already towards B. They're playing uh, in it. Oh, they're popping in. Damn. They're going. Yeah, big space. Zipex's first challenge. Desperately holding W. There's so many potentials. It's going to be Glaive, though, that does fill the feed for the first. Even Jiggles onto Buster for some damage. Bomb planted in the face of adversity there. Astralis should have this. So many nades for the retake. Yeah, it's looking like the odds are stacked against VP, and the bodies do just keep dropping. Sanji, though, backtracks. He nah, won't be. Nah, nah. No, but it's planted for him, dude. It's planted for him. They didn't even have him worked it out yet. The smoke from the CTs is in the wrong place. And Magisk isn't ready, he was. Now on the defuse. Okay, my hopes and dreams of the Sanji 1v5 denied. And Astralis, one step closer to pulling us to Inferno. And yeah, money's in the bin now. VP, the plant was good. You can imagine how bad their buy would be without that. But all in all, they're not able to get across the line there. They get all that control. They don't have all the utility they, they need. And yeah, the utility left over for Astralis because this was so early from VP. They just dunking on them, spamming them through the smoke. They got utility oh. to corral them, push them where they want. And the awareness of Magus right there. Sanji gets that one. Maybe that gives Kicker a chance to go for a kill. Sanji finds another back and forth. But it's just the Deagles, the bloody Tech 9, and a Galil. Definitely got it stacked up against them. Astralis 
A formality now to convert, and Yukind is the first on the chopping block. With every frag, Astralis one foot in that third. James needs this, needs the space. Does have a little bit of an advantage in the moving duel. And actually takes the head off of Dupree, not done yet. I can't believe Astralis are getting away with five-man yard lanes. This is the second time they've done this. Okay. Looks like he gets to be the top of the totem. Completely negated right there by that smoke. So there's 20 seconds. Throw that one on the clock. VP are going to have to wait this out. Operating with just a little bit of utility now. And time. They've been going late. They've been mixing it up. They've been going fast. Nothing just seems to be working. Finally, Zipax has had to rotate over towards that B bomb site. Glaive up and towards heaven. That almost seals the deal in my mind. Yeah, especially considering where they look to finish. Astralis are in all the right places. Sandy's util is not going to do too much. Now just plays ahead and does knock him down. Boosting over this. This is actually not a bad shout. It should be one. Oh, Glaive does go down. Back to B. 22 seconds. Oh, Zipek surely going to have his knife out. He'll beat them there. Okay. He'll have a HE as well. Don't forget, two of them are low. Could be a nasty dunk or a nasty spray. Oh, Buster's got great. one. They will plant in time. Maybe there is a little bit more life in Verta's Pro after all. Tucked in on oil. It's a prime position. Kick it low may not be too much of an issue as long as Buster can just be that survival element. This is the kill. Found easy. Trying to claw it back and oh. Galili just can't cut it. Device can. 21st frag found and Astralis will take it with ease. Ladies and gentlemen, our quarterfinal will be concluded on Inferno.